What's up guys here? We are on to another review here today. Links in the description if you're interested in any of the music that I create is available below for free. So you can check that shit out. Um, it's on my Bandcamp or Spotify. Spotify is pretty popular right now. You can check me out on Spotify. I've got a playlist up with a bunch of South Dakota metal bands and shit. Uh, go check that out. That's in the description below. But here we go. So now we're going to be talking about a band that kind of fell away for a little bit. Made its way back. Filled with controversy. And it's a band that I grew up listening to. Um, it's a band that was super popular. Uh, As I Lay Dying. It was a huge band when I was growing up. Because Metalcore was kind of in its peak towards the end of my high school years. And the beginning of, you know, my uh, early adulthood, as we'd call it. And uh, some crazy shit happened, right? So, I have a bit of a unique perspective. <sighs> on this stuff that might be a little controversial. Now, I will never, ever say that it's okay to have somebody murdered. This is fucking crazy, okay? You should never do that. Just want to make that very clear before we start this conversation. But I don't want to just make assumptions that it was that simple. That it was simple, that he's just a crazy piece of shit, that wanted to have her murdered. Um, I. There's no excuse... But there is reasons that can logically lead you to why somebody would go to that length. And I feel like the story was never fully told for him. That he never got to tell it on his behalf. And that maybe some of the people around him never got to tell it. Um, I don't know the details of the story. But I'm going to give a for instance that might make something so crazy and just evil. Maybe less crazy and less evil um, if you think about it. It, to some extent, uh, a prime example would be what if, you know, he's got kids with his ex-wife in the whole nine yards, and what if there was some sort of adultery going on, and it wasn't on his end, but it was on her end, right? Because he's gone all the time. I mean, he's, I mean, it, as a musician, knowing what it's like when you're gone all the time, and knowing how spouses d generally eventually have a problem with it and eventually you're just tired of you not being there. I mean, you're not being there. I mean, you're not there for six months. You know, probably in his case, he wasn't there for years on any be home for two weeks, gone for three months, you know, and uh, what he's doing while he's out on tour, you know, who knows? I mean, he could have been doing his, he could have been committing adultery or, you know, sleeping around on the same thing. So we don't, we don't know the details of the story, but in essence, I don't want to cast a bunch of, even though the guy served his time, what he did was fucked up. You know, he deserved the time that he got. He didn't actually accomplish anything. I know that's not, you know, what if he did? Then, of course, he should fucking still be in jail. That was definitely a horrible thing to do and a horrible extreme to take it to. But I could see if there was dissension amongst the two of them where, you know, there was some adultery going on and maybe, you know, she divorced him and took half of his stuff, as happens throughout most divorces. So men out there, if you get married and you have stuff, you have a business, you have money, sign a prenup. Don't let them just take off with your stuff. I know women probably don't want to hear that, but I don't care. The reality is there's an imbalance in the judicial system where women can take more money than they have earned. And I am being very blunt there. You, you cannot... If you two build the business together, her name is on the business. She's there and working for the business. She's putting in the time. She absolutely deserves half of that. In the event that she's at home with the kids, I mean, I I have a wife. She's at home with my four boys, right? But there is a different level of work for those who are out making sacrifices and doing things we don't necessarily want to do, but we do to pay for everything. So don't, don't confuse that ever with... With like, uh, we're pawning the, the children off. That's so absurd. I would gladly, I've offered many times to stay home. She doesn't want to trade. And it's very logical. Why would you want to trade? It is a better gig. I mean, it's not perfect by any means. There's all kinds of problems that happen. There's all kinds of things that she has to deal with. There's all kinds of stress. But it's not perfect. And there's going to be things that happen. But it's not to say that she deserves half of whatever I've sacrificed and put my work in for, right? And in and, and our relationship, everything's good right now, so that's, that's extreme. But in his relationship, it could have been very different. Perhaps she was a stay-at-home mom. Perhaps she didn't have anything. And he was basically, you know, this rock star who has a bunch of money and now has all this influence. And she took all that. 
And then she said she was going to take the kids and all that stuff could have happened. Now, these are for instances, of course. But, I mean, to sum up the rambling, things are generally more complicated than we make it out, and especially the media would make it out. So just keep that in mind when you see crazy shit like this, that there was probably more to it than meets the eye and was shown to us. So... Uh, that being said, like I said, I don't condone what he did. What he did was fucked up, and he should have never done it, and that was crazy. Fucking insane. Deserved the time that he got. Might have deserved more time. Honestly, I mean, attempted murder is still fucking murder, okay? It just it just means you were, you were shitty at it and couldn't complete it. <laughs> you know, as bad as that sounds. But anyways, here we go. So now we're going to listen to their song, uh, Shaped by Fire. Um, you know, I've always liked the sound of As I Lay Dying. I thought they did a great job. Uh, some of the screaming at times could be maybe monotonous in the same thing over and over, but the instrumentation was always very well done. So let's check this out. Here we go. It's really heavy. I like that. That's a fucking cool guitar he's got there. What is that white guitar? Oh, that guitar is awesome. What is that shit? This shit is fucking heavy. It's scooting too. It sounds awesome. The song's pretty badass. The riffs are cool as fuck. Great dynamics. That guitar is so fucking badass. <laughs> Such a cool looking guitar, the shape. Great fucking production too, of course, but it usually is. Nice. Nice. God, that shit hit hard. Holy fuck. Okay. Yeah, I, you know, he's not canceled for me because I separate the art from the, from the person. The person can do... All kinds of dark shit, and 
I don't look at it like I approve of that person just because their art does something that has an impact. And I think he does a great job here. I think the vocals were were great. I think the the riffing was, of course, incredible. Really well done. Uh, really well executed. They had great dynamics. The song was short and sweet and just fucking brought the thunder and the riffs. Um, I have no complaints about this. I actually thoroughly enjoy um, this new track here by Azalei Dying. So the madman approves. Anyways, guys, thanks for checking out the video. Until next time, laters. The last few moments of this wild ride we call life could just be a transition from world to world. It could simply be an astral transformation from one consciousness to another. Fractals are thought to be the connection between us and the other worlds of the multiverse. The light we are asked to follow at death is a fractal. When you are not unconscious, you see fractals. If you're lost in the astral plane of a psilocybin-induced journey, you sometimes see fractals. These broken, seemingly random structures of light are filled with crazy mathematical perfection, yet are far from perfect in the naked eye. Could the door to the ever-vast, ever-expanding, ever-changing multiverse be guarded by the light of these fractals? Does immortality truly exist? The only way to know is desire. So